people smell smoke or spot flames in their homes, firefighters are just an emergency call away. But their life-saving efforts reach well beyond that. As WMAR2 News Jeff Hager shows us, swimmers and divers with the Baltimore City Fire Department proved that not once, but twice in the last two weeks when they rescued victims from the waters of the Inner Harbor. Good. Are right, you good? All right. Time to go. A rescue diver for eight years now, Gregory Nelson continues his training here in the swimming pool at Digital Harbor High School. Less than 24 hours earlier, Nelson and his fellow members of the Special Operations Command had faced the real thing, responding to a report of a man floating in the water of the inner harbor near the Pier 6 Pavilion. And just two weeks earlier, they had saved a woman's life in much the same way. In both those incidents, Rescue One, my company, but two dive, uh, swimmers in the water right away made immediate contact with that victim, got their head turned over, got them stabilized. The dive team dates back to a half a century ago, and its work came into full view for the city in 2004, when heavy winds caused a water taxi to capsize, killing five people that took more than a week to recover. Each member of the dive team is also a full-time firefighter, and they say that in many instances, going into the water is more dangerous than going into a burning house. They always say it's, we're 25% more likely to be injured or killed by being under the water. So if anything goes wrong, you know, it could quickly become a catastrophe for us. But facing danger is nothing new for this team. It's going to take an act of God to stop me from getting in that water to get somebody out. It's a level of commitment that can be most notably measured in lives saved. The amount of uh, drowning rescues that fire department or, or public safety diving teams make in a year is handfuls. And we've made two in two weeks. And I think it's a testament to all the hard work and all the investment and everything we've been doing here in the city to, uh, to make that happen. At Baltimore's Inner Harbor, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.